No new snow, but these cold temperatures mean the snow we have isn't going anywhere anytime soon. That's causing some serious problems in parts of our region. KXOI Force Allie Norton working for you tonight in North Idaho. She's live in Coeur d'Alene, where a state of emergency has been declared. Allie? And Melissa, that is because of not only heavy snowfall, but because there is an, there isn't a foreseen future of when all this will melt. So trees like this one covered in snow, there's a constant danger until that thawing event happens. It's a pretty sight, but a dangerous one. See, it snapped off way up there. Heavy snow brought down this tree branch on the side of Yvonne Davis's Coeur d'Alene home. She's worried now it could happen with some of her bigger trees. It is worrisome. And uh, yeah, it's because the <coughs> trees are all bending, as you can see. With no thawing event in the forecast, county leaders have declared an emergency disaster. The Kootenai County Board of Commissioners met this morning in hopes of getting state assistance. This video of a tree snapping in half was shot at the Evergreen Cemetery in Post Falls. The city says they're inundated with work to address the tree issues because of the snow buildup. You got trees bending, branches breaking, sometimes the top, sometimes the whole tree. And they can sit there for a while as they're bent and just takes a shift of the wind, takes a shift of the snow or a little bit more moisture and they'll snap. This morning, Corbin Park was closed because of that. The city was seeing tree failure in the backwoods. This was an easy one to shut down because there's one road in and one road out. Other places, they can only urge people to be watchful. If you start seeing you know, the snow falling from a tree in clumps or you hear this, the noise of it moving, just get away from it. Yvonne is being watchful, but in her situation, it's more hoping for the best. You just never know, you know. Hopefully, they'll stay up, but, uh, uh, well, the weatherman says we're not supposed to have it anymore, so we'll see how right he is. The Red Cross says that they've only had to assist one North Idaho family so far. Christmas Day, a tree fell on their home. As we all know, though, all it takes is a change in the wind to cause more damage. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.